hello guys and welcome back to the channel today we are in Tunstall uh, just on Hall Street which is just above St Aidan Street now this area uh, we've got to be very careful in because it is a known area for crime stabbings I think there's been some shootings uh, so we've got to be very careful and be vigilant on ourselves today and uh, we're gonna take a look at the fly tipping we've had lots of reports and we've had a drive around just to see if these reports are accurate and they are uh, so let's carry on so we've got a public footpath just down here oh my god it's filthy guys it's filthy it is filthy i am never uh, there's definitely we haven't gone into the area that much but so far it's probably the worst one we've been in uh, they are building some new houses just here and then the public footpath goes down into this area here and then we're just moving down this alleyway here oh my lord look at that now this is a small alley that goes behind these houses here um, the old mattress again yes just it is bottle of piss bottle of piss there there's a bottle of piss there guys bottle of piss a famous bottle of piss uh, yes again we are joined by the lovely Julianne oh my lord yeah you had a jungle over there. Oh my god. My head is a Look at that. That's someone's garden. <laughs> I am not going in there. No chance am I going in there. We got somebody else's garden there. Let me tell you guys, it is filthy. We got a creepy looking doll here. And then we've got all this just dumped. Now again, the same as all of his videos, I will tell my wife to watch where she's stepping. Oh my lord. Needle, right by my foot. Okay. Right by my foot. Where? There, in front of you, you're coming up on it. Right. There you go, guys. Another needle. Oh, one here as well. There's loads of jokes. Oh, right. We're going to have to get out of this area, guys. Because... It's like smacking up there. Um, it does look like it's an area for junkies. And we don't want to go tra treading on any of them needles. So we're just about to go down the alleyways of Halls Street. So let's take a look down here. Now this is somebody's back garden here, guys. It does look, actually look like the house is empty. But look at that. Oh, 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 oh my lord. You won't want to be next door in your yard having a barbecue, would you, in the summer? Oh my lord. Right, so we're going to continue his journey down the alleyway. We're behind um, St. Aidan Street. Yeah, just behind St. Aidan Street. Uh, what I will say to you guys is if you want to share this video, it makes a difference to get it out there. It helps us. It's the next sort of um, bit that we need your help with. Remember to hit us up if you have got this sort of problem in your area and we will come down we'll video it we'll send it to the council do us thing oh my lord look at this oh my god look at that you know what guys this this is not well yeah it is classed as fly tipping yeah but this is this is not people coming to the area fly tipping there's a bloody onion ring there and some chips and some chips could have had some to eat while we're here all the while guys we are literally watching every step that we take especially after seeing all them needles oh yes it's all this rubbish oh my lord it's all this here bags of clothes oh my lord I'm not going to be able to get over there guys, but have you seen that? Now that is fly tipping. That is definitely fly tipping. Look at all that there. Oh my God. I don't think I can get in there to go in. 
have a look around but flipping it it's absolutely stinks as well it really does stink it smells putrid there's stuff i put myself through for you guys to make a difference there's no content we've got a little bit of a of a needle there uh, so we're gonna we're gonna watch it where we are we've got all this here oh my lord and you can see tips of needles absolutely everywhere oh my lord look at this too much waste standing look at that oh my good lord oh my good lord it is and i'm not i'm not exaggerating when i say it absolutely stinks it is absolutely disgusting and it's everybody i think it's everybody in this area that's doing this everybody it's got to be oh my lord so we're crossing the road now in st aiden street and we see all this oh my lord we thought it was going to be bad we just didn't realize it was going to be this bad and it gets worse guys it gets gets worse look at that it gets worse look at this oh my god I'm sorry but I feel a, bit, a little bit sick that's how I feel I feel a little bit sick oh my lord right we're gonna we're gonna attempt to go down this one here all the while watching where we're stepping we've got an old parrot cage TV another mattress oh my god God. Smells like you stepped on massive pieces of glass. Yeah, there's all glass everywhere. It is absolutely filthy. How could these people live like this? They should be ashamed of themselves. Look, there's a bath. It's absolutely disgusting. It really is. And we continue down the same alleyway more of the same I, i'm not kidding you guys the amount of glass that is around is unbelievable unbelievable dog shit everywhere glass needles rubbish oh my lord Oh my god. What the hell? Yeah, someone's bills. Someone's bills. Someone's tenancy there. No, that's not. There's somebody's proof of evidence there. George Dwight Salmon. Oh my god. Look at this. Oh, fucking hell. And just up there we see no fly tipping, no littering. Um, with a picture of a camera in the corner. Clearly that hasn't made much difference at all. So here we are, we move on to another alleyway on the opposite side of St. Aidan Street. And to be fair, I'll be honest with you guys. It's terrible, but it's actually the cleanest alleyway we've been down so far. Sofa, bed, whatever it is. I think it's a sofa bed. A sofa bed. Jesus. Jesus. How many following up here? You do know Mr. Kipling's not real. We found that out when I went to audit Mr. Kipling's tissues and 
Makeup wipes. Makeup wipes. Somebody's makeup content. Oh my god. Sinkhole there. Eh? Sinkhole. Oh god, what have I just. Oh. Oh. So okay. I've just tried and dog shit, guys. Whoopsie oh, daisy. Uh, but I'm going to carry on. I just got the edge of it. You know, you're gonna, you're gonna get this happen um, when you, when you're in these sort of areas. I suppose. Bloody hell! Someone's just emptied the ashtray there. This is terrible. This is a real Christmas tree there. Why wouldn't you go and plant that? I'd plant that. I would. Which way do we go? I'm very scared on whichever way we go, to be fair. Uh, but I think I'm going to head up. Um, keep going up. <laughs> I'll tell you what, guys. This is probably one of the... One of the most difficult... Uh, videos we've done. Because we not only... Um, obviously making the video but we've got to watch where we're standing you've got dogs a lot of dogs around uh, we got obviously it's an area for crime and stuff and things like that so you've got to worry about the the people you've got to dodge the glass the needles obviously the dog shit <laughs> oh my god oh my god dog shit yeah and we come along here. This is bad. Fridge, table, sofas. Oh, it stinks. Oh my god, it reeks. I feel sick, guys. I really do feel sick. Well, guys, we've actually come up on a clean alleyway. And um, it's quite clean here. It's quite clean down there. But there's a nice house here. Well, and there's a nice house just here. Now, we'll, what I will tell you guys is that uh, it costs from £500 upwards to live around here. At least five two five. At least. So, would you pay that to live around here? I certainly wouldn't. So, guys, we're just having a wander around now. Um, we think it's about time we got the hell out of here. As usual, we've had uh, a couple of people staring at us things like that and uh, wondering what we're doing and with it being a high crime area out. we thought to ourselves right it's about time we got ourselves out of here um, we do hope you've enjoyed watching um, we will revisit this area again in a few weeks to see if any difference has been made um, please share this video please do give us the thumbs up because it always helps the channel out with all that being said, guys, thanks for watching, and we will see you on the next one.